All right, guys, you know me, I'm a huge Primus fan. Les Claypool, best bass player ever. Uh, my family and I are passing through the Bay Area in Northern California. So I thought I'd check out Les Claypool, best bass player ever. Check out his hometown of El Sobranti, California, or El Sobranti, like an El Sobranti Fortnite. He sings about this town and lots of his songs. So I thought it's worth checking out since we are passing right by it. All right, El Sobrani, California, El Stop number one. Les Claypool of Primus' hometown, the best bass player ever. All right, this is the drive to El Sobranti, El Sobrani, however you pronounce, pronounce it, El Sobrante, California. We got some hills over here, golden amber waves of rain. Well, I don't know if they're rain, but whatever. I'm on Interstate 80. And El Soprani. I've been wanting to go to this town for a long time and now it's happening. Okay, this exit is to Novato. Novato is the hometown of another band that I like called Nuclear Rabbit. They're kind of like Primus, but they're from Novato. Look at that, that's like a amusement park. Well, I like Wes Claypool, I guess, more because he's, you know, the original bass player that I grew up with. So, I'm kind of strapped for time, so I'm just going to head to El Sobrani, not Novato. Sorry, Nuclear Rabbit. Let's go to El Sobrani. Here we go. Okay, I think that's the San Pablo Bay out there. So we're crossing over some sort of strait. That's the San Pablo Bay. Les Claypool sings about this bay, like fishing sturgeon over there. So there you go. Okay, this is probably San Pablo Bay. Yeah, I think it's San Pablo Bay. Because we're near El Sobranti. Or Les Claypool used to go fishing for his sturgeon in the mud flats of San Pablo Bay. Sorry, I'm listening to Red Hot Chili Peppers. Um, I left all my CDs in Virginia. I think they're in Virginia now. So I just bought the new Red Hot Chili Peppers CD. So that has good bass too with Flea. But that's Southern California. Maybe I can find a CD store and pick up a Primus CD and blast it. Okay, here we go. All right, that was San Pablo Bay. We're heading on into El Sobrani soon. Okay, here's the exit that the Google Maps is telling me, Appian Way. This is the exit to El Sobrani. All within El Sobrani Fortnite. Okay, looks like we're arriving here in El Sobrante, California. This is Les Claypool's hometown. This is it. This is where he's from. Finally made it here. El Sobrani. Is there a sign I could like take a selfie in front of? I don't know. San Pablo Avenue is often, well, it was sung about in a Primus song, uh, American Life. Down on San Pablo Ave. Once a week, get the woman for the night. You know that one. Let's go check out San Pablo Ave. Okay, this is San Pablo Avenue, or San Pablo Ave, as Les Claypool calls it in his song, the Primus song, American Life. Alright, San Pablo Ave. I'm like going to all the places that. 
I've only heard about in songs. So, yeah, that's pretty crazy. So I'm going to Claypool Cellars. Claypool's Winery Purple Pachyderm. All right. Hope, I hope Les Claypool's there. That would be incredible, like a dream come true. All right. Okay, so I just heard that Les Claypool is going to be at Claypool Cellars today. The Purple Pachyderm Cellars, or the winery from a Facebook friend. So I'm just heading out there now. Why not? See if I can meet Les Claypool. I met him once a long time ago, 2003, after the show in Houston. So maybe I'll meet him again here at his cellar, at his winery. Crazy. Petaluma, California, often mentioned in Les Claypool's music. And look, we're near Napa in Sonoma. Oh, fancy schmancy wine country. Wow. Okay, we're coming up on Sebastopol. That's where it is, I think. Sebastopol. Isn't there a city in Crimea called Sebastopol? In Crimea. Well. Here we go. We're going to Sebastopol, California, where Claypool Cellars is. This is pretty crazy. Okay, I got off the freeway. I'm on Occidental Road. This place is out in the country. Well, it's a winery. So, yeah, it's out in the country. Interesting. Very awesome. Wow, look at all these wineries. This must be the purple pachyderm wine grapes. Where they get the wine from these grapes. Look at all the grapes. Alright, this is so awesome. This is gonna be so cool. This is wine country. I guess we're near Napa in Sonoma. Look at all the wineries. So many. Les Claypool has his winery out here. Pretty awesome. So many grapes. Okay, I'm coming up on Claypool Cellars. This is crazy. I'm such a Primus nerd. There it is, that's it. Claypool Cellars. Whoa. Okay, I'm so here. Pachyderm Station. I made it. Way out here in the country, in California. They're not open yet. They open at noon. I hope Les Claypool's here. That would be amazing.
All right, I got a signed copy of Primus Green Naga High CD from the Pachyderm Station. It was a good day. They were very uh, nice and got me this autographed copy. Les Claypool showed up. Okay, here I am at Pachyderm Station. Les Claypool did show up briefly. He was in a yellow truck but he just was doing some business real fast and then he took off. So he, he didn't uh, meet people today, maybe next time. But anyway, this is the first time I've been here. I've wanted to come to Pachyderm Station for many, many years to Claypool Cellars, checked off the bucket list. I met Les Claypool once in 2003 at a Primus concert in Houston. So anyway, but it was awesome to finally come to this place. And I got such a cool autographed copy of Green Naga Hide. Ta da! Green Naga Hide, autographed by Les Claypool and I think Larry, maybe. Not who's, I'm not sure whose signature is it. Anyway, awesome. All right, so this is the Sonoma Creek. It flows into San Pablo Bay. This looks like it could have sturgeon. It reminds me of the Ural River in Natural. The mud flats of San Pablo Bay. That's what Les Claypool sings about in the Fisherman Chronicles. The old Diamondback sturgeon looks like it could live there. All right, I'm stuck in some hellacious traffic. All right, well, it was worth it. Now this definitely looks like the mud flats of San Pablo Bay that Les Claypool sings about in the old Diamondback Sturgeon. Definitely. There must be sturgeons living out there. So many sturgeons.